Hey, YouTube and YouTubers, welcome to my channel. Welcome to our channel, Trucking with Mr. Coach. My name is Danny Cordero, okay? And um, <clears throat> the reason why I'm doing this video is basically I did a video about obtaining or deciding to get your CDL. So the title is going to be So do you know? So how do I get my CDL? You know, I decided to become a trucker. All right. Um, this video, pretty much, the information that I'm going to give is information I have gathered prior to me <clears throat> coming here into Stevens for my training, and um, before going, even before going into um, CDL school. Okay. Um, a lot of times we don't know where to start, where to start, what to do. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to give you a breakdown of how I started. Okay. And I'm going to assume that you have your license already. Okay. There are other opportunities for drivers that never had license before, but I'm going to assume that you already have your license. So, <clears throat> so you decided you want to be a trucker. Okay. Uh, before anything, before anything. Before you even go to motor vehicles, okay. First thing, first thing you got to do um, is you have to get your DOT car, your medical car, which is this right here, okay. DOT car, medical car, okay. Motor vehicles will not take you, <clears throat> will not allow you to take the the um, the the uh, what do you call the permit, the exam for the permit, unless you have the medical car. New York, Florida. I don't know if all the states are the same, but I know New York and Florida, you're not allowed to take the exam until you have the, excuse me, the medical car. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what do you call? Uh, to go and get, you know, where to go to get your medical car, which is basically like a physical. You're gonna go get a physical, it's not gonna be as intense as a normal physical, you will go to your doctor, okay? There are those, um, like the emergency care, excuse me, excuse me, I wanna make sure that, you know, there are those emergency cares or medical cares that you could go to, and there are registered uh, uh, physicians there that could give you the medical. Um, you have to watch out. Keep an eye on that because there are some of these emergency cares that they could give you this, but they're not certified. So how do you find out where to go? You know, you go to this website, okay? You go to this website, okay? The fmcsa.dot.gov, National Registry Certificate of Physicians. So you go <clears throat> and get your you know you could go to that website and on the bottom you're going to put the states that you live in and um it'll tell you plenty of places the it, it, the the price um the averages go sometimes it could go from 65 dollars all the way to 150 dollars. it depends where you go okay and it's a one-day thing so you go get go and get your physical you know and get your your dot car um it's one day it's pretty much you know uh, you know, they're going to see, test your vision, your hearing. Um, they're going to do some squats. They want to, you know, they want to tell you, you know, put your pants down. They want to see you, you know, they want you to cough, I guess, to, uh, to test your lungs. And um, <clears throat> some type of physical um, test to see how you're back and, you know, and they're going to make you squat, different things. It's basically a physical. But that's the first thing you got to you gotta do. And, again, the reason why I'm doing this video, I did in Spanish, and it was very successful. It was, I was able to, you know, I got a lot of views on it because people are questioning that. And this is pretty much information that is just regurgitated. I didn't invent this. It's stuff that I heard from other YouTubers. And I'm just saying it through my channels because um, some of my viewers may not see it in another channel. So I got to give it to my viewers. This is information for my viewers or future viewers. So <clears throat> I hope I'm not too loud. But... um. So, yes, so you deciding, you know, I want to become a trucker. I want to get my CDL, 
uh, my class A, you know, I want to get my, my, my commercial driver's license class A. Okay. That's what you need to do. That's the first step that you need to do. Now <clears throat> you decided to do so you get that. Okay. Before you even go to motor vehicles, you don't even need to get a book anymore. Okay. You could go on the website and get, you know, motor vehicles website and get the book. If you're interested in reading all the pages or you could go to, uh, there are others, but this one worked for me. You could go that into that application. CDL prep application is the one that is blue and it has like a steering wheel. And uh, you could pretty much just practice, practice, practice and, and bottle it in your head and go and take the, you know, take the test. You need um, air brakes, uh, general knowledge and combination. Those are the things that you need for class A. Okay. So you went and got your DOT. You study for the test. Now you go take the test. Okay. Once you, you do that, <clears throat> now you go get your permit. Okay. You get your permit. You're set. Now the homework starts. You start looking for schools. There are a variety of schools. It goes from, you know, from $1,000. <laughs> I don't know how much trucking you're going to get with $1,000, meaning practice, to as much as $7,000 and even more, depending on what you do. If you finance in different states, there are grants for these things through unemployment. I know in New York through unemployment and all the places like Ohio, you go through um, child service. Um, you know, in, in Orlando, I know in Orlando, you go to Korea Source, uh, Korea Source Central Florida dot com or dot org. And there are grants. There are five thousand dollar grants. One is for one is for role master. And then there's, an, there's another grant for another school that is five thousand. There is also a community college that charges twenty four hundred dollars, and there's also a grant for that. But that one takes eight weeks because it's part time. You're doing it at least I think it's one I think it's once or twice a week, and it's at night time. So, <clears throat> so there are grants out there uh, that you could do. You could do your homework prior to. Now, <clears throat> I know for Roadmaster and Career Source, you have to go to Roadmaster with your permit and your medical card. Submit your application. They're going to give you a letter that you qualify, that, you know, your license is clean, it's good enough, you're going to be hireable after you've done that. And now you take that to Career Source, and Career Source will do a check for you for $5,000. $5,000. Not to your name, to Roadmaster's name. So you can't just cash that money. You got to bring it to Roadmaster. Roadmaster charges $7,000. The other $2,000 supposedly the company that you're going to work for they're going to pay for it a lot of these companies are going to tell you we don't need to pay that don't worry about that and you can say well but roadmaster told me they made me sign a contract it's a waiver form that they made you sign that you're not responsible for those two thousand dollars if you do not get a job within 30 to 45 days that thing is voided or if the company that you go to decides that they're not going to pay for it you're not they're not going to hold you accountable to that it's a waiver form that you're signing that's a roadmaster that's where i went okay I hope I help some people now. I hope Roadmaster don't get mad at me, but it is, it's what it is. That's what it is, exactly what, how it goes. So anyway, so now you got your permit. Do your homework on what school you want to go to, okay? Or if you want to go to a company, there are many companies. Mer I'm over here at Stevens, but there are other companies that offer you uh, a school, you know, your training, they get you your license, and now you got to sign a contract with them. Um, the majority of these companies is a year. Some of them do two years. You have to do your homework on that. Okay. But there are plenty of companies out there that offer this. Don't ever think that there's, that there will be nothing for you. All you have to do is go to these different companies. You put in training companies or, or companies with training program and you Google it and you're going to see all these different companies that are going to come up and they pay around the same amount of money. Trust me. Some of them, they say they pay more, but when you deduct hotels, food, and the different things, and then you go to another one that pay you less, but they don't do any deductions on, you know, no deductions on you, okay? Uh, where I'm at, I know I get paid $450 for the first three weeks in training, and then it goes up to $500. While you come to orientations, if you already come with your license, you, you go to orientations for four days. In four days, you go and you're ready to go with your with your trainer. If you come in for training, you're going to be here for a month in the majority of these companies. For a month. The first week, 
you pretty much you're going to do the same thing that you did as if you did it at home you're going to get a dot car when you come to these companies they're going to train you for first for the first week so you could go to motor, motor vehicles and get your your permit and then the last three weeks that's when you're going to go on the road and, and learn the maneuvers and the different things in my case i did it at home because i didn't want to be in another state i didn't want to come here to texas and get my license here in texas I wanted to do it on my own at my own pace. So I did it at my own pace. I studied at my own pace. I watched some YouTube videos. Plus, I did CDL prep. And I went and did everything my way. Now, when I went to the school, I went to Roadmaster. That first week, I was only in the classroom the first day I w because it was orientation. They wanted to give you the policies and rules. And then after that, after that, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I was outside with a truck either learning pre-trip um learning how to uh, straight back line and different things the other students that started with me on the same monday they did not touch a truck until that saturday of that week because they needed to first get ready to go to get the cd you know to get their the permit where now it's in a classroom trust me it is painful from seven in the morning till six o'clock in the afternoon and that's at road mass i don't know any other school but I know not one minute you were able to get out early and you have to study. And Thursday come, you got to go take that test. They take all the students to motor vehicles and they give you up to like 12 o'clock till noon. If you're not done by noon, the next day you go by yourself. If you fail and if you fail on Saturday, on, Saturday, on Friday too, they send you home. Now you got to take the test on your own. And when you have the test, when you have the, the permit, you have to come back and they start again. So it... I did it at my own pace. I started at my own pace, got my permit, and um, what do you call? We're gonna let that go for now. Um, <clears throat> so I started at my own pace. I started at my own pace. I apologize for that. It was really noise, uh, noisy here. I started at my own pace and went and took that test. Okay. So, <clears throat> so you choose the school that you want to go to. The college was too long for me. I didn't want to spend eight weeks on that just to get my license and then go get a job. Be careful with what company you choose, because if you get your permit, you get your DOT car, and you get your permit in your home state, when you come to them, and it's not necessarily the company, it's the state that you go to. Some states don't permit, don't allow you to use your own, uh, what do you call, to use your own permit. You have to come to them. All these companies, Remember, the DOT car is only to get your permit. The majority of these companies, when you come to their to their orientation, you're gonna do another D, another D, another um another DOT car, another medical car, and drug test. Oh, and by the way, a road master they will do their drug test. You had you come in on the first day, and they'll send you. Actually, when you come to register, they send you somewhere to get your drug test, and then they tell you if you qualify or not. If you, everything passes fine, you're good to go. And it's just on urine that uh, that that I know what, what with Romas. I don't know another company and other schools. So <clears throat> I hope I'm not losing track. But again, I'm trying to get all this information here. Um, so yeah, so you choose a school. So be careful what state you go to, because you, if you did all that work and now you go and you find out <clears throat> that you can't use that. I know Missouri. They do not allow you to use somebody else's or another state permit. You have to start from scratch. Again, I did it in my own state. I wanted to see my daughter every day before I left because I know that training plus the four or five day, you know, four or five weeks in school. Now, now that's two months taking you away from your family. But if you don't have the money or if you don't want to do your homework, because trust me, a lot of these schools you sign in, your license is clean. They check your background. They play. They look the other way. And they find a loan somewhere, or they found they find some type of program to put you in. Okay, remember, a lot of these companies they reimburse you. They don't give it to you all at once, but they give it to you in increments. You know, after 90 days of being hired, then they pay you. Let's say, um, depending on what school you come from, they'll pay you $300 a month. Or five hundred dollars a month. I know Stevens. <clears throat> if you go to one of the Earth Spans of school, they give you the first day of orientation. They give you like fifteen hundred dollars check, and then after that, it's it's five hundred dollars a month to pay off your debt. And 
to me, I think that's great. I didn't get that. I didn't get that, but <clears throat> it, I think that's 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 great that you're able to do something like that. Um, so do your homework on that, okay? Um, I'm going to be looking at this paper because I want to make sure that I don't leave anything behind. Um, if you have a felony, there are companies that they hire you with that. You just got to do your homework. You got to submit your license and your record to them, and they'll let you know. Don't ever say, no, I can't do this. Oh, I got record. Let the company tell you no. Sometimes the company is going to tell you, listen, I know you had a felony or you had this, and it was this time ago. If you wait three more months or a year, you're going to be good to go. Or come back to us in a month from now, reapply again. And you and then you'll qualify. So and the same thing if you get you know points or, or, or a ticket or anything like that. Do not say for yourself, no, I can't do this. I got a dirty license or not a good license or whatever. Do not say no for yourself. Let them tell you no. Let them tell you no. These companies, trust me, they want drivers. They need drivers. So <clears throat> don't say no for yourself. Let them tell you no. Okay, what else? Um when you you know, the next thing is now you're in school, you're doing this. Do your homework on, on companies, reputation, you know, the training reputation, not so much the pay. Remember, the majority of these companies, they're not paying you that much money. They're not. After you become a driver, you know, how much are they paying you? What the benefits are? You know, what kind of plan do they offer? Do they offer a lease program? Do they force you into a lease program? Do they train you to become, you know, an honor operator and different things, you know? So, so do your homework. Do not go by what people say on YouTube. See, this is, an, this is an instructional video, and I will say it again. This is an instructional video, okay? And what do I mean by that? What I'm telling you is information that you that never seen anything like this before, this may be new to you because you didn't know where to start. Now you know. The people that are out there, the, oh, this company, that company, that's their, that's their life. I know people, I know people that were in my class that as we were going on orientation, on orientation and class here at Stevens, I know people that I could tell while we were going on orientation who was going to be struggling because of their attitude. They have a, you know, they didn't have a, the best attitude there was, okay? And you find people like that that are negative and things like that, you know, and you're going to get what you deserve, okay? So, again, do your homework on, on reputation, their training. The most important thing is training, that when you're done and you're by yourself, you feel like you could, drive anywhere and do anything okay and have the proper training so don't look to companies for because of uh, oh somebody you know somebody said this negative about that you know if if i would have gone by that i would have never picked stevens i think there's only one driver two driver and one of them already left the company who spoke good about the company do your own homework do your own homework don't let the schools tell you you know, all go here because you got to remember some of these schools, they work with a particular company and they're going to go into depth about the information that they have of those companies. The other companies, they're not going to give you much. I know where I went, the school is owned by Werner. So the people that they're going to talk about the most is Werner. Everybody else, oh, they only give you $100 a month for your tuition. Oh, uh, they only pay this. Oh, you know, they pay 36 cents a month. That's what we pay. That's what Stevens pays here right now. There are other places that they pay 38 cents, but their training sucks. So I'm going to train, I'm going to trade a good training program for, for a company that has a horrible reputation that when I'm done and I want to go to another company now, oh, you drive, you drive for that company. <laughs> oh, watch out. I don't need, I don't need no that crap. I want to be a professional driver with a good reputation and it starts from the company that I pick. So do your homework on that. Be positive, be positive and be ready. You're going to see some of my older videos and you go back, you're going to see the ups and downs. You're going to see, I'm a happy person. So don't go by me. Even when I'm struggling at my worst, ain't nobody stopping me for what I want to accomplish. Okay. I'm 43 years old and I think that's something that I could do here and I want to take advantage of it. I'm a positive person. I already put in 24 years worth of work in New York as an iron worker, as a construction worker, and working in retail. This is something that I see a potential here, not just to be a company driver, but to build something bigger. So again, don't let anybody, anybody, do your homework, pick a company. Once you pick that company, conviction. Say, that's where I'm going, and go with it. Do not let anybody, you know, 
change your mind or go another way because of, you know, oh, this is more popular or bonus, a signing bonus of, you know, a whatever amount of money signing bonus. Do your homework. Okay, you have the homework. How you pay me that? I mean, how you pay me that bonus? You have a bonus. How you paying me that? Oh, six months later or oh, a year from now, I'm gonna we're going to give you $1,000 a month. A year from now. Shit. You're holding that little carrot for me to go chasing that $10,000 you know, whatever money, money it is for a year. I want to know that if you're offering something, can you get it right now? You know, I have a pleasant surprise. When I had a pleasant surprise when I got here. I was told in my school that Stevens only pay $150 for tuition a month. Now, that's not the case. They giving me $250. Um, I didn't even know. And somebody said, oh, you have hazmat? Yeah, I'd have it. Bring your receipt. Uh, how much was that? $205. And I got full reimbursement on that. And all I did was bring the receipt, show that my car has that. Give me one second here, please. It's getting a little hot here. Okay, so <clears throat> so there's a lot of things that, that people don't tell you. They only want to tell you the negative stuff because it didn't work for them. Do not go by that, okay? If this is something that you think you want to do, do it. If you're a young person, if you're a young person and you're thinking about doing this, Oh boy, you, I mean, the sky is the limit, like I say, because you have no debt. I hope you don't owe any car. You're not financing any car. I hope you don't have any apartment. You could literally work and live in the truck and shit. You do that for two years. Oh my God. How much money can you save? How much money can you save if you did that? You know, and if, if you have a child and you, and you had a baby when you were young, this is still a great opportunity. I, you know, the reason why I started this channel was because I know there will be some baseball players that I used to coach that will not be ball players. And now they're going to be going out there <clears throat> working regular jobs, getting paid bullshit money. Because some of these colleges that gave these kids, these young men, you know, scholarship, you know, and they went there thinking that they were going to be accountant and they were going to be, you know, doctors and this and that. A lot of these schools and the coaches you go in there and they want to give you bullshit you know uh, majors because the coaches need you to pass your classes you know then if you're going for a doctorate they don't they don't care for that because now they know that you're going to have to be a great student to be able to pass and be available to play ball whichever sport it is so they're going to put you to take oh uh, you know african art or or hispanic his you know heritage or whatever who the hell get a job on that? Tell me. Okay? Now those young men have a diploma that says that, and they go out into the real world, and there's no jobs. And nothing against working in Full Lock or anything like that. I did that. Or working in McDonald's. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a, it's a dignity job. You, you're not stealing. You're not doing anything wrong. But the potential, if you decide, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I got nothing holding me back. You know what, Mom and Pops? I'll see you. Let me go do this. And trust me, you will never regret it. You will never regret it. Had I known this at a younger age, I would have been done this. You know, I would have done this a long time ago. So anyway, I got a little excited there because I know how many people are out there. And I'm here to, to bring hope to those people. To bring hope to them. Is it easy? No, because you're away from your family. You're away from your family. Okay. The reason why I have not done this video prior to, you know, I was with my trainer. Everything doing good. I, you know, I'm doing a video by a video a week, giving my update. You know, what's my update on how my training is going? All of a sudden, my trainer, who I feel bad for him, and I, you know, and I thank you for, you know, for what you did for me and giving me the opportunity to to, to do my videos on your truck. Um, listen, I really appreciate you, and I'm sorry that you know that you know you know my heart goes out to you. You know, his mother passed away. My training came to a stop. Rather than complaining and, and looking at the big picture, you know, okay, my training got delayed a week. He just lost his mom. Who am I to complain? You know, be positive. Be positive. So my trainer, Mark, I didn't give your name before. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. appreciate you letting me in in your truck and treating me the way you treated me. And, um, you know, I hope the best for you and your future endeavors. Okay. Um, Again, what else? What else? What else? If there's anything that I'm missing, anything that I'm missing, you could comment. 
ask me any questions. Okay, uh, I started a, a a Instagram page also too. You know, just in case people want to reach me through there. It's talking with Mr. Coach also on Instagram, and um, there's a lot of things happening. And when you do the things for the right reason, like what I'm doing right now, sharing this information, good things happen to you. And I'm excited about what's to happen to me, my family, and and and, and what we're about to do. So again. Please, please do not get discouraged. Go out there, get that license. If you're interested in doing this, there's there's potential here. It's not easy. You're staying away from your family. It's not easy, but it's not impossible. It's possible. It's possible. If you're a go-getter, and you if you are a go-getter, and if you're a go-getter and you have that mentality that you know what, I'm gonna go get it done, you could do great things here. And any company. Not here, Stevens, and any company. So don't think I'm selling you, Stevens. That's not the case. Any company, pick the company, go after it with conviction. Don't let nobody get in your in, in, in the way of your dreams. You're trying to lease or you're trying to go company. Pick what you're gonna do. Get it done. Do not go by what people are telling you. There are negative people. There are positive people. You cannot just take advice from everybody. You have some disgruntled people out there that complain about companies. Yet, they didn't do their job, okay? Again, thank you. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for, you know, subscribing, liking, and and, and I hope sharing the video. Um, my channel is growing slowly, but organically, that's the way I want it. I don't want no fake people that are coming here. And if people are just coming to be negative and criticized, I don't care. I don't care. I really don't. You do not drive me. You do not drive me. I'm here for the people that want to get something going. Okay, so thank you again for watching my channel. Okay, subscribe, share, like, smash the button, all that fun stuff. Please, uh, let's comment so this channel become popular and more people decide to do this. Okay, remember, the sky's the limit. Oh, yeah.